Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use OBS virtual camera with Omi TV. This method lets you use custom scenes, videos or even pranks on Omi TV all using OBS. It is quite easy to set up and I will guide you through every step so that you can start using it right away. So whether you are just curious or you are looking to have fun online, this will definitely upgrade your experience. Now before proceeding into this video, make sure you check out the links of all the resources and the download links mentioned in this video available in the description box below. Now without further delay, let's get straight into it. So first of all, you need to download OBS and you need to rename files. In order to download OBS, simply open your web browser and search for OBS Studio. Once you are able to find obsproject.com website, simply click on the first link. Then you will be landed on this page. Over here, based on the system that you are using, you will have to click on their respective button. For example, if you are using Windows, simply click on Windows and the setup for OBS will be started downloading in your device. Now, once it is downloaded successfully, make sure that it is the latest version. So you need to just install it in your PC or in your laptop and then you need to just launch it and it should look something like this. Now, the key part here is that we need to change the name of the virtual camera and this helps Omi TV detect it properly. So in the description below, you will find a link labeled OBS camera method one. So you can just um, unzip it and right click on that and you need to extract the file. Then you need to open the folder and run both the files one by one. So once it is done, you need to restart OBS so that the camera name updates correctly. Now, in order to set up virtual camera in OBS, you will have to open your OBS studio just like so. Over here, you will see the option of resources. So in the resources, simply click on this plus icon. Then from the given options, select the option of video capture device. After clicking on this option, you will see this type of pop up in front of you. So you can give it a name if you want to. You can give it like start virtual camera or um, you can keep it as it is if you like. Then you need to press OK. Now, as soon as you press OK, you will see the preview of yourself on this black screen here. So OBS will now sending your video to any of the applications that uses webcam, including Omi TV. You can even connect OBS to Omi TV. So you need to first of all open Omi TV in your web browser. Now, once this step is done, you need to just click on this settings icon. In your settings, you will have to go to the website settings and then you need to select camera. Now, from the drop down menu, you need to choose the camera name that uh, we set earlier in OBS. So if you are using a laptop with a built in webcam, you might need to disable it first. So in order to disable that, you need to just right click on the start menu, go to device manager. Now you need to uh, just expand this box and here you will see the option of cameras. So you need to expand camera section right click on this and you need to disable your device so once this step is done you need to refresh your omi tv and it should now show the obs virtual camera device now if uh, the first method didn't work don't worry you can download obs camera method 2 from the second link in the description again you need to extract the file and run it and change your camera name to something like hd camera c922x then you need to click on the set button and restart your computer and that's it the camera is re renamed and you are ready to go now if you are facing any kinds of problem while doing it uh, i would recommend you to just uh, change your settings for that simply come into the settings of your device and then go to output uh, over here you will see the recording section so you need to make sure that the recording format is either mkv or mp4 after that in the streaming section make sure that you don't change anything uh, you can make changes into the bitrate if you want to but i would recommend you to keep it as it is then you need to go to audio and here um, you can select the sample rate and you need to make it high according to my device it is 48 uh, khz so i'm going to keep it as it is then you need to go to video and make sure that the uh, base resolution and output resolution both of them are of 1920 into 1080p so once you are done with these settings simply click on the apply now button and then press ok 
so if this video helped you out consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you have any questions you can do let me know that in the comment section below and i'm here to help you out with that thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next one